Hello world, this is Random Fix, and today I'm going to show you how to compress your BMW brake caliper without the use of one of these special tools like this. And this may not work in this application. The head's going to be too thick, and there's no way of fitting it in there. So to do this, all you're going to need is a screwdriver, different sizes. Have the, the top of the brake fluid reservoir off before you do this, and you want to gently come in here and only do this when you're replacing the rotor because we're going to be pushing against the rotor so it, end up, it might end up scratching it you're going to come in here and just press on here and you can see my brake piston actually went in went in again so work it a little tiny bit You want to make sure you don't press against the actual rubber here. So anytime you're working it, you're doing this, you want to get in between the pad and the rotor. Not the actual piston itself. And the longer your screwdriver is, the better leverage you'll have. And there it is, my brake caliper piston is compressed in. Now I'm going to be able to easily do this brake job here on this BMW E60. You can also go ahead and open up the brake bleeder valve right here. And this will make it a little easier. I don't normally recommend doing it unless you have a special tube that's going to go ahead and suck it out. That way you don't introduce air into the system. And check out the video links below on how to do the rest of the things on this BMW, including a power brake bleed. I hope this video helps you out. Please leave your comments and your questions below. Let me know if you guys have any comments. Hit the subscribe button, and I really appreciate your continued support.